Hey future doctors, today we're diving into the different types of drowning and more. Understanding these distinctions is key to saving lives. Freshwater drowning occurs when water floods the lungs, causing electrolyte imbalances. It leads to a rapid absorption of water into the bloodstream, causing blood cells to burst, or hemolysis. This can result in cardiac arrest or brain damage. Remember, timely CPR is crucial in such cases. Saltwater drowning is different from freshwater drowning. Here, salt water draws fluid into the lungs, causing pulmonary edema. This leads to difficulty in breathing and eventually respiratory failure. Watch out for signs like frothy sputum. Stay aware, it can save lives. There are four types of drowning, dry drowning, wet drowning, near drowning, and secondary drowning. Each type affects the respiratory system differently. Wet drowning is the most common where water fills the lungs. Know the difference to treat effectively. Dry drowning happens when water causes a spasm in the vocal cords, closing the airway. The lungs don't fill with water, but the lack of oxygen is life-threatening. This is rare, but critical, to recognize early. Cold water immersion can trigger a rapid drop in heart rate and blood pressure, known as immersion syndrome. The shock of cold water can cause sudden cardiac arrest within minutes. Prevention and fast rescue are key. Surviving a drowning incident doesn't always mean you're safe. Secondary drowning occurs when water enters the lungs and causes damage hours after the incident. Watch out for breathing difficulties even after rescue. Check out the full lecture by following the link in the description below. Want more quick lessons like this? Drop your topic suggestions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and share with others who might find it helpful.